Hello, hello, grade 12. Welcome to Academic Coordinates. In this video, guys, we're tackling the equation of a circle with a center at the origin, right? Okay, cool. This is analytical geometry, right? This is a circle, right? Then its center is at the origin, right? Before we go any further, let us, ju let us just do some few definitions right here. Okay, cool. First of all, a circle, right, is a set of points. Is a set of points um, that are on equal distance, right? That are on equal distance from a given center, from a given center, right? Okay, we have said that our circle center here is at the origin. So these points, right? They are of an equal distance, right? You know what I'm saying? So basically, all the points on the circumference of a circle, um, they are equidistant from this center right here. Okay, cool. Um, secondly, I want us to define a radius, right? A radius, a radius, right? The radius is the length from the center of a circle to its circumference circumference right so basically a radius is this length from the center to the circumference of a circle also this is also a radius this is also a radius this is also a radius right here to the circumference of a circle right okay cool lastly what is a diameter? A diameter, right? So a diameter, guys, um, is this is this distance from one point in a circumference of a circle to the other point. But this distance, this length has got to pass through the center. So a diameter is the maximum, maximum um, distance, right? between between two points right in a circle in a circle so basically the maximum distance between two points so let's say there was a point here and a point here that will not be the maximum distance let's say there was a point here and a point here that will not be the maximum distance so the key part that will actually um um, confirm this definition is that the, the length must be the maximum so it has to pass through the center right okay okay guys okay guys so now what is the equation of a circle with center at the origin right so this is our circle right here its center is at the origin so the equation of the circle will be x right minus zero all squared plus y minus 0 all squared is equals to r squared right okay cool so this can be plus or minus plus or minus right for a circle with a center at the origin and i just want to put something um to your attention right here guys that um looking at this circle you know uh, let me just get another color from here to here is the radius if we can just um, draw a, a vertical line right here, and then we have a 90 degree angle right here. So um, we'll be able to appreciate that this will be the hypotenuse, right, of this right angle, triangle. So basically, it's actually R. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So basically, to, to just string everything together, um, for any circle whose center is at the origin, its equation will be x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So I'm sure at home, you know, you might be screaming that looks like the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, guys. Cool, cool. So basically, I want to note something also that a circle has got an axis of symmetry, right? Right here. It has got quite a lot of axis of symmetries, you know, that will be very much important as we go further in the lesson. All right, guys. Cool, cool. So let us do an example right here. 
an example. Okay, cool. Let's say you are given a circle centered at the origin. Circle centered at 0 and 0, right? And then this circle, right, has got two points on its circumference. A, which is negative 4 and negative 4, right? And B, um, um, it's also, it's 4 and 4, right? So now they ask us to find the equation, right, of this circle. So if you can just draw this thing. Um, our circle is centered at the origin. Okay, my circle is not drawn to scale. And obviously, this is not the best looking circle you've ever seen in your life. Right, so this is the y-axis, the x-axis. Okay, cool. So we've got a point right here, a negative 4 and, and negative 4. So a will be somewhere here. This will be a. Then b is 4 and 4. b will be somewhere here. All right? So, guys, if we can look right here, um, if we can um, uh, put a line between a and b right here. So this line is going to be the diameter. Di diameter right the pink line right there will be the diameter so now to determine the equation of this circle right we are going to use we know that um for a circle centered at the origin this is its equation right here so it's x squared plus y squared is equals to r squared so we are looking for r now right However, you've got two coordinates. You've got this coordinate and this coordinate right here. You know what I'm saying? So basically, um, we're going to substitute either this point or this point right here. You know what I'm saying? So let's substitute point A. So negative 4 squared plus negative 4 all squared will be R squared. Okay. So negative 4 squared is 16, right? And negative 4 squared is 16. So... Um, r squared will equal us to 32. But now we're not looking for r squared, we're looking for r. r is what? Okay, cool. So we know that if we've got, if we've, sorry, sorry about that, if we've got, if we're taking a square root, right, we're going to have plus or minus. But now this is a radius, so a radius will be um, a positive value right here, right? So it's going to be the square root of 32 and um. You know, since you guys are using calculators, you're going to find that it's um, a 4 multiplied by the square root of 2. So this will be your R, right? So now, what is the equation? The equation will be x squared, right, plus y squared is equal to 32, all right? And just take, an, take note that here we're just finding R. You know what I'm saying? To just so that you guys can actually appreciate that this is the radius, that this is the length from here to here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is the equation of um, um, this is the equation of um the circle, right? That is centered at zero, zero, that I've got these points A and B um right there, you know. Okay, the second question that might be asked here, right? That find um um, um the length of a b all right let us look at it guys a b is this one so as you have defined earlier a b is the diameter right so the diameter is twice the radius right so the diameter will equal to two times the radius so this is um two times what is the radius the radius is four root of two right so our diameter will be 8 root of 2, right? And also, let's say you guys were not actually aware of what to do here, right? You can also use um, this equation, right, to find the length of um, AB right there, right? So um, x1 minus x2 all squared plus y1 minus y2 all squared you can also use this equation you guys are gonna get the same answer you know what i'm saying okay cool okay cool okay guys okay cool so this is our diameter and it passes through the origin let's do another example all right example two okay let's say you are given a circle right centered 
at the origin right with a diameter which is equals to four units and they ask you to find the equation of the circle you know what i'm saying so basically the equation of the circle you know that it's x squared plus y squared will equals to r squared but now you don't have r you know you've got d instead so but you know that d is 2 times r right so the diameter is 2 times r so your r will be what your r will be d divided by 2 so what is d d is 4 divided by 2 so your radius is 2 units right but now what is your equation of the line the equation of the line will be x squared plus y squared is equals to not 2 right but r squared so it's going to equal to 4 right or it can equal to 2 squared right however this is the equation of your line okay guys let's say they ask you now they give you a certain point right um let's say um for the second part let's say they can ask you is the point right they give you a point of um a one and the square root of three and they ask you is this point right in this circle right uh let's say you've got this circle right here then you know that the radius is two it's gonna be a two here a two here negative two a negative two a two here so this is the y-axis the x-axis so they ask is this point in here if you already have the equation you can easily find that you know this is the x this is the y so if you put these guys um in the equation you have to find four if you don't find four it means that the point is not found in this circle right so it's gonna be one squared plus the square root of three squared what is this equals to if this equals to four then yes the point is found you know on the circumference of the circle but if this does not equal to 4, then the point is not found there, right? So 1 squared is 1 plus this root of 3 squared is 3. This equals to 4. Hence, yes, the, this point A is on is actually on the circle. Okay, guys, the last example. Let me just stretch you a bit further, right? Okay, cool, cool. So you're given a circle centered at the origin, right? And then now... They actually tell you that it's a unit circle. Okay, if you don't know what a unit circle is, it has got a radius of 1. So your equation is x squared plus y squared equals to 1. So basically, this is your unit circle right here. I'm going to shift you guys just a bit. Okay, cool. So this is 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1. Okay, this is x, this is y. So... The first thing they say write the equation of a circle this circle right that is shifted three units to the left right so this circle is taken one two three units right so what is going to change now is the center of the circle right so from zero zero the circle is shifted three units to the left so it's going to be like one two three but now our new center will be what? Negative 3 and 0. It's like 1, 2, 3. But now what will be the equation? Be very careful now. It's going to be x plus 3 all squared plus y squared is equals to 1. Right? So it's going to be plus 3. It's not going to be negative 3. Right? It's going to be plus 3. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then now they said the circle, this circle is shifted two units downwards, right? It shifted now, uh, it just shifted three units to the left and then two units downwards now. So now the y's will be the one that will participate here. So it's going to be x plus three all squared plus. So now y is going to be plus or is it going to be um, a minus? It's actually going to be a, 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 a plus right now. So it's going to be plus 2 
all squared is equal to one so the radius does not change it's just the circle that is actually shifted you know so our new center will be negative three and negative two right okay guys do stay blessed enjoy the rest of your day and then um on the next video we're gonna do equations um of his, of circles that are not centered um, um at the origin right do stay blessed if you've got any, any questions just comment below or email me i will be glad to assist you guys enjoy the rest of your day